Good morning and namaste. I'm Nandini Mauli, welcoming you all to another edition of Up Close and Personal, where we feature key events happening in the tri-state area, Maryland, DC, and Virginia. You know, in Hindu scriptures, temple, the house of worship, has been cited very many times with reverence. Temple is an embodiment of Jiva Shakti or divine spirit of the deities residing in that structure. Alayam Torudal Salamum Nandru. Going to the temple lets you imbibe that Jiva Shakti, divine spirit, and helps you to lead a happy and healthy life. We are very fortunate to bring to your attention that such a temple is around in our neighborhood. Sri Shiva Vishnu Temple in Lanham, Maryland, which is one of the oldest and most authentic temples in North America. The temple construction began back in 1988 and completed with 17 deities and sannidhis along with a big Rajagopuram in 2002. So in 2003, after 12 years of the original construction, a Jirno Dharana Kumbhavishekam was celebrated. Today, in 2015, the temple is ready to conduct another Jirno Dharana Kumbhavishekam, an epoch-making event indeed in the history of the temple. We are so happy to let you know of the details of the temple, and so I have invited two gentlemen, esteemed volunteers, as well as founding members of the temple. Dr. Shiva Subramaniam, who is the founding chairman, as well as the trustee of the temple. Dani Dhananjayan is also an ex-chairman of the temple and currently member of the governance board. We like you to turn on and stay tuned on to our conversation in the next 15 minutes. Thank you again for watching us. Dr. Shiva Subramaniam, I am so happy that you could join us. And namaskars. And it's, uh, could, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, every time, Dr. Shiva, when I walk into this temple in Maryland, Shiva Vishnu Temple in Maryland, I get the same devotion and connection as though I'm walking into the Shiva Vishnu temple in Mambalam, Chennai. <laughs> you know, since I was growing up in Mambalam, I used to go to the temple. And now when I go to the same temple in Maryland, I see the same type of devotion and connection. Such authenticity is preserved in this Maryland temple from Mambalam to Maryland. <laughs> and uh, I am so happy. And kudos to you all in the board to maintain that type of um, authenticity in the temple. Tell me a little bit about what is this particular celebration, Jirno Dharana Kumbhavishekam? Um, Nandini, it's really glad that you invited us. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And uh, what we would like to talk about, start from the authenticity that you talked about, is so this Jirno Dharana Kumbhavishekam is maintaining this authenticity mm -hmm. is the primary thing. What is it? What is Jirno Dharana? What happens because of the weather? Throughout this last several years, the structure of the temple, both inside and outside, mm -hmm. and due to this weather, it becomes damaged. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be repaired, renovated, and at the same time, it is not just the structure, but also the Jiva Sakti that you talked about, the Divine Spirit, is also masked by uh, like a veil, mm. and that needs to be rejuvenated, re-energized by this method. Mm -hmm. And so that is what Jirno Dharana Kumbhavashegam. The Jirnam is digestion or digested. Uddharanam is bringing it back to the glory. Very the, nice. The authenticity that you talked about. Beautiful, beautiful. And, um, there is a lot to be done with respect to doing this uh, great sacred event. Could you tell us a little bit about what are the preparations going on at the temple? There are two major aspects that we have to look at. One is what is done by the silpis and the stapati. These are master craftsmen, artisans, who does 
this renovation work, not by some mechanized stuff, mm -hmm. by their own hands, right on the spot, they fix all the things that needs to be done and enhance and bring the beauty of what is now several thousand years old uh, architecture mm -hmm. that is embellished here in Sri Sivarasana Temple. And so they bring it. Stapati Selvanathan, mm -hmm. who is now the chief Stapati of the temple, who is the nephew of the original Ganapati Stapati, mm -hmm. uh, who built the temple, in the, as you said, in the 82 uh, on, uh, does this work. And they are almost finished. You should really watch them do this work. Mm -hmm. It's just phenomenal. The second part of that is the religious aspect of it. More than 35 priests are going to be coming from India and all over the United States mm -hmm. to perform this, again, authentic, uh, you know, um, uh, pujas and uh, events to be done to conclude on May 31st with the Kumbhabhishegam or the sanctifying the temple, both in the top, in the Raja Gopuram and other uh, Gopuras that are there, as well as the, um, uh, the deities that needs to be uh, done on that day. One word of caution, mm -hmm. on that day, we have an early muhurtam, mm. that means morning 7 to 8.30 a.m. And so please do come early and find your best spot to watch both from the outside and then inside. Yes, since um, shikaram, the top of the structure is so critical because it carries all the power, it is very, very important to even watch it from far away. Don't miss it because this is such a auspicious um, day, May 31st, Sunday, Sunday, early morning. Please put it on your calendar and do participate in this um, great event. Uh, Dani Danajan, I know that um, you are highly involved in the preparation, once again, of mm. um, the events happening, so especially in the Ayyappa Sanniti, because you are a great okay. Ayyappa devotee, and okay. something is planned for um, the ladies and the okay. Ayyappa Sanniti. Can you elaborate on that? Thank you, Nandini. Um, Swami Sharnam, uh, we not only want you to come and participate in the Kumbhab Shegam, we want you to get involved right from the beginning of the program. So the weekend before the Kumbhav Shegam, that is on September 23rd onwards. May, May 23rd. Oh no, May 23rd, sorry. No problem. Uh, we have arranged programs to involve the ladies, the children, and the young adults. We have different programs for each one of them. The first one is on Saturday, May 23rd at 10 a.m. And this program is called Manjal Nirat. We are planning to have 1,008 ladies come and get involved in this, in this puja. This is especially for Lord Ayyappa. And this is one of the rare occasions where the ladies, after the puja, will carry the Kalashams with, with them and climb the holy 18 steps for doing Abhishegams to Lord Ayyappa. And this is a very, very rare occasion. This might come once in 12 years or, you know, it's very, very rare to have this occasion. So I invite all the ladies. We would like to have more than 1,008 ladies to come and participate in this grand event. And after this, on Sunday, May 24th, we are starting off with the young children. Um, it is called uh, Build Your Own Deity. So we had a very grand event last year uh, about Build Your Own Ganesha program. Right. And because of that, and the enthusiasm that the kids shown, we are encouraging them to build any of their f 
ishta devata the deity so the children would be coming that day and be helped by the artisans to make the yes, deity is the, that the concept the artisans right. will create the molds uh -huh. and we'll give them the material to mold it okay and then they'll mold the material and then take it upstairs mm. and have a puja Very and nice. uh, dr shiva can talk about what type of puja they'll be doing mm. and each one of them can take their deity that they built and go home with that that is so beautiful i know this is a very very creative puja yeah. i should say yeah. because as you mentioned you are also talking about the ladies participation the youngsters participation the generation ahead of them the grandparents and um, great grandparents who are living here should also come because it is a once in a lifetime type of uh, uh, preparation and sac sacred event yeah. dr shiva could you say a little bit about other pujas also being conducted right L let me just add one more thing to what danny already mentioned it's very important that for the manjal nira to the ladies should register because then we will know who is coming mm -hmm. and also bring your own kalasams if you want to mm -hmm. and that way you can take that back because it is filled with the sanctified water did do the abhishekam for ayappa and you take it home to your puja room the same way for the build your own deities please register your children go to the ssvt site and register for both of them it is very important coming to some of the other um, procedures there will be lots of havans mm -hmm. that will be done and i think each day there is going to be a special havan for a deity throughout the 25th through the 31st and it is really something of a joy to come and see in participate in the morning and get the blessings and as well as specific discourses that take place let me talk about one discourse the, the week before the kumbhabhishegam that is on sept may 24th sunday mm -hmm. after the children's in the afternoon mm -hmm. 2 to 4 pm mm -hmm. there is a scholar who is coming to give a religious discourse mm -hmm. and the interesting thing about this scholar is he is only 38 years old mm -hmm. he is a technocrat but he is giving this religious discourses with a modern interpretation of the vedas as well as the all the uh, Uh, ramayanas and um, mahabharatas that we have so you should really come and listen to that followed by the classical yeah and then we to close that uh, weekend event we have a, a grand classical and devotional uh, music concert by uh, the one bhushan jk yeshudas and uh, this is this is going to be held at uh, elena roosevelt high school uh, you know very close to our temple and i would like all of you to come and attend that this is a ticketed event and please um, reserve your seat please reserve your yes, seat it. and don't be disappointed yes. thank you friends you heard uh, all the dates and the, all the special events going on 24th 31st you have to put it on your calendar and come over and uh, once again we are so happy that you could take us into your living room today and talk about and listen to the ssvt jirnodarana kumbhabhishekam this is once again on the memorial day weekend and we want you to the be next weekend memori next memorial day weekend and the next weekend and so we want you to be there along with all of us in the temple community thank you so much once again for listening to us dr shiva subramaniam thank you for coming thank you Jani, thank you thank you for coming all of you please come yeah. please come and attend this namaste namaste